And this one is a tricky one. I'm sure if it was designed properly, it wouldn't have been so difficult at all. Yeah, and I think it's impossible almost, is it? I just don't know yet. So there are multiple design rule errors. This is quite... I'm just gonna skip this to the end. see Aries has some glitches it just won't connect to it although you can possibly see that it's already connected anyway we're going to just ignore that and this one is left this one is left and so most of the design is done here if you want to delete all the routes, you have to select the component mode, track mode. Then you have to first click on a side, then drag all through and select delete. Uh, press delete on the keyboard. So the design is then unrouted again. ECS also has some auto route features. It is not usually very recommended. You'll see in a short time why. It's because it always uses two layers at a time. You don't have any, any option of selecting only one layer. And two layer PCBs are usually twice as expensive as the single layer versions. So if you don't mind, you can go for the two layers auto routes. It's quite convenient when you have a very big circuit. So but this one is a really small one. And this is just about it, the simple PCB. To see how your PCB will look, you will select Output, then 3D Visualization. So there you go. This would be our small circuit. Your power will be connected in here. And this will be the 555IC. Okay. Now, to make the printout of the PCB, you'll have to select the output, then print. This is the tricky part. For the layers, you'll select some artwork layer. You'll get the bottom copper layers and the top copper layers. You have to first select the bottom copper layer for a single layer PCB but it must be remember it must be mirrored or it won't be printed properly and then click on print i'm just selecting the adobe pdf printer to show you how it would look when you print So if you print it out, this should the bottom copper layer look like. To ensure better contact, you can also change the pads using these pad tools. Remember, you shouldn't short out the other tracks using the pad. Or you can select auto route again after creating the pads. See, when you hear the power, you'll create a design error. I have to correct that and it's very difficult. So it's solved now. Afterwards, you can select output, then print, bottom copper, mirror. Afterwards, you will need the top silk layer. Select Output Print, then click on the artwork, 
top silk layer. You must print the top layers in normal mode, bottom layers in reflection mode. Then click on print. I'm just replacing the old one. So here is the top silk layer. This is the white screen only. And then if you want the green coating that protects the shouldering, which is known as the shoulder resist layer, you'll have to select shoulder resist from here. Click on the bottom resist. It's a single layer. You, you does a double layer, you need the top resist as well. The bottom layer must be mirrored and also for the shoulder resist, you have to print it in invert color. Once you're done, click on OK. So this is how the shoulder resist will look like. The center parts won't be covered with the paint, but the rest of the portion will be. So it will protect the copper from rusting.